Hey everyone, Morgan and Baby Rogue here. Dandelions. So many things can be done with dandelions. But today, we're gonna be making some dandelion jelly. I've never done this before, so this should be interesting. Let's see how it goes. This is the book that I got this recipe from and I'll put a link down below in the description. It takes approximately 100 dandelions to get one cup, uh, which is what you need for this recipe. So you'll get one cup of dandelions. What I had to do is I had to pick them throughout um, a few days in order to get a full cup's worth. But some people, you know, could pick them, you know, just nice and fresh. But I froze them and they were nice and frozen. They froze really well. So then all you do is you pick off the green bits and you just want the yellow flower. Then you'll add the petals to the water the night before you plan to make the jelly. And then what you do is you actually let this concoction cool and set overnight. The next day, you're basically just gonna strain out all the water. You wanna push it all out as much as you possibly can. You'll add your honey or your sugar along with the dandelion water and uh, you stir until it gets to a rolling boil and you'll add your pectin. Then you'll put it in jars and um, water bath can it for 10 minutes. All right, it's more like a syrupy. It should say if we put it in the fridge more, but this looks like every other time that it has gone wrong with all my other jellies and jams and things and it doesn't really set that too much more in the fridge, but it'll set a little tiny bit. Anyway, taste test. It tastes like um, watered down honey. <laughs> um, it's good. It's very delicious. But, you know, because we put so much honey in it, um, it was like a cup of honey. Um, I think that that really kind of overpowered the actual dandelion uh, taste. So, anyway, it's good. Um, it would be good on biscuits, you know, uh, whatever. So. Cool, interesting experiment. I'm gonna put it in the fridge and have some later. Thanks for watching.